Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a life update. I already did one, but all of that had to do with me and my friend Mabel's channel and stuff going on with us. There was some stuff going on with our channel and our friendship and I wanted to talk about that. But today's is going to be about me specifically. But if you do want to see the other life update, I will link it up above um, in the iCards thing in the corner. So I have like three different things to talk about. Um, so there's like three different categories, life update things, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, let's get into them. So this video is definitely not clickbait. We're going to go right into the title. Um, I have recently gotten some attention on TikTok. I don't know if I necessarily call it TikTok famous, but one of my videos did reach a million views and I now have um, almost 11,000 followers so to me that's way bigger than i ever thought i would get on there um it's so crazy to me maybe that's not crazy to other people but like the fact that i have a million views on a video is huge to me so when i posted this a million view video i had no idea i had about 70 followers at the time and it was about this old strawberry shortcake camera my mom found and i had a receipt from 2006 so I thought it would be cool to post a video of the camera and show the receipt. Since I barely had any followers perfection was definitely not on my mind at all. I literally didn't even rewatch the video before I posted it. I just filmed it and posted it like I thought maybe 20-30 people would see this video. If I was lucky, maybe 50. So I messed up my words a little bit and I said the year 2006 wrong and for some reason people found this to be a big deal so the video blew up because so many people were commenting about it. Some people were actually interested in the camera and me doing updates on the camera but a lot of people just thought it was hilarious that I said the year wrong. So me making a simple dumb mistake actually made my account grow like crazy. So if you guys haven't seen the video I will put it in right now so you guys can see my a million view video so my mom found this old strawberry shortcake camera which i don't remember at all in this cd and for some reason in the bag there was a receipt and it was purchased on march 3rd of 20 six is that even how you say that year <laughs> i don't even know so i was like four years old some of you probably weren't even alive when this was bought so i'm gonna plug it in and see if it does anything so stay tuned so yeah as you guys can see um i messed up my words and i've gotten so much hate for it but i've also gotten so much love from all my followers and stuff and that video brought in so many people and such a big audience that I never thought I would have on any social media. So I'm really excited about that. I love TikTok and it's a lot of fun and I used to think it was super cringy but I'm really glad I ended up downloading it because obviously I have a YouTube account like I find this stuff so much fun like it is my creative outlet. I can't really draw and do art stuff like that. So stuff like this to me is like a creative outlet like I said. I mean this is art to me so like TikTok's very very similar to YouTube like it's the creation of videos. Um, obviously TikTok is a lot easier and simpler and there are some differences between the apps but they both have like this creativity that I love. I love to create videos and the fact that I have this bigger following on there is so cool and it's something I never thought would happen to me so I'm really excited excited to see if it keeps growing and keep making videos on there so yeah um I will put my TikTok name below if you guys want to follow me and see the videos I make there I make a lot of videos because they are super easy to make they don't take too long so I'm always making random videos throughout the day so make sure you guys check it out the next thing I want to talk about is last quarter of school, you know, when I actually attended school and wasn't doing online school. For the first time in a long time, I got all A's and last report card for the quarter and I'm really, really excited about it. I haven't gotten all A's in such a long time, so I'm really proud of myself and I just wanted to tell you guys that because I couldn't believe that I got all A's. Like, that was crazy. So the third thing I want to talk about is this whole quarantine because of coronavirus. Um, it's kind of crazy. Um, so for the last few weeks, I've been in a state of shock pretty much. Like at first when I found out we weren't going to have school, it was only supposed to be for three weeks. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be productive during this three weeks. I'm going to post YouTube videos almost every day. Like this is going to be great. Like it's just a three week break pretty much with 
some online school. But then this started to get a lot more serious and I was just kind of in a state of shock and I really couldn't just keep posting every day and acting like everything was fine because obviously nothing's fine. This is terrifying for everyone. So I took, I don't want to say a break, but I definitely wasn't posting every day to every other day like I had planned. And I've really been spending a lot of time outside. Um, I take my dogs for walks like all the time. Like we have a field in the back of our house that's like a mile long and I take them for uh, one to two walks a day. So I'm walking one to two miles a day, just spending a lot of time outside doing outdoors things. And it's really calmed me down about it. Like nature just makes me feel better. And so I've been, been spending a lot of time outside and it's made me feel a lot better. I feel like I'm finally ready to conquer things and actually accomplish things. Like I am so motivated to make more YouTube videos for you guys, for this channel and me and Mabel's channel. And I feel really, um, my soul just feels better after I took some time to myself and I'm really ready to um, work really hard and grind on making YouTube videos. Like this is my time to really do that. Time that I didn't think I was gonna have. And even though this Corona thing is awful and I wish it never would have happened, I gotta take the positivity from it. And the positivity is all this time I now have that I didn't think I would have. So I'm really gonna try and do stuff that I care about during this time and really use this time to do the things that I love instead of sitting in school for seven hours a day. Um, I have a couple hours of online school and then the rest of the time I have to do the things I care about. And like I said, I wish this never would have happened. I think we all wish that, but I have to take the positivity out of the situation. And that is one of the positive things. And yeah, um, this all really sucks, especially me being a senior in high school. You know, I was supposed to have graduation um, last weekend, not last weekend, it's next month. So like a month from now, I was supposed to have prom and Indiana, which is where I live, if you guys didn't know, um, they basically just canceled all schools for the rest of the year. No one's allowed to go back. So it's not even a possibility of maybe when we go back, we'll have prom. We aren't going back. So prom is not happening. And that's awful. You know, my boyfriend and I tried to make the best of the situation and have an at home prom, but not having a senior prom is sucks. I mean, it's just like, of course this hit me when I was a senior. Like I wish it could have been any other year, but this year. Hey guys, I'm editing right now and I really focused on talking about um, like senior, like the prom and graduation aspect and I just wanted to say that I obviously understand this is a bigger issue than just like, oh, me missing prom and stuff. I actually had one of my relatives kind of get upset with me talking about it on Facebook um, that, you know, they're like, it's more important, like, the, there's people dying from this, a silly dance doesn't matter, and I completely understand that that is more important, but it also, I don't really know, like, this is such a hard s situation, because I know there's people in crappier situations than me, but that doesn't invalidate that I am upset about the little things, like my prom being taken away, um, and I do understand the gravity of the situation. My mom is a nurse and is at such high risk. Um, she might end up with COVID patients eventually here. Um, she's getting trained and stuff to do that. And that puts my whole family at higher risk, her at very high risk. And it's really scary. And there are bigger things than the prom and graduation, but that's still something I have to deal with that growing like growing up. That's something I always thought about graduating and stuff. And I might never have that ceremony and like, as I get older, I will never have those memories of my, my last bit of my senior year, like, and that sucks, and, um, that doesn't make me a selfish person for being upset about that, um, I just wanted to kind of clarify that even though I'm talking about those things, um, obviously the bigger picture is trying to, um, help less people get this coronavirus, um, sorry, I'm blabbling on. I just don't want anyone to think that was coming from a selfish place at all. But there's nothing I can do about it. And like I said, I'm just trying to make the most of it and realizing I have all this time I never thought I would have right now. And I can do positive things with it, like make YouTube videos for you guys to talk to you guys, to help you guys be distracted from what's going on. Hopefully these videos can um, make you not think about it for a second and give you something else to think about. Um, I can just do the things I really care about, spend time with family and my pets and everything. And yeah, I'm just trying to be as positive as possible about this whole situation.
So yeah, that is my life update. That's what's been going on in my life. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about everything going on. Um, as I said in my whole like, quarantine update part of the video, I am going to be trying to post more. I feel super motivated. Hopefully I can post every other day to every other day. So like every one to two days. Um, I'm really hoping to upload a lot for you guys within the next month or two. So I know we're all stuck at home and need the distractions. I hope I can do that for you guys. Um, it's going to be hard because I also have e-learning, but um, I really need, I don't know, creativity. I really need this creative outlet right now. And I feel like this is what's best for me is to put everything I have into making YouTube videos right now. I feel like that's going to make me feel the best. Sorry, this is kind of rambly, but yeah, I guess that's kind of what life updates are is just rambling about what's going on. But yeah, I'm excited to start making more videos for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.